catch up, not something that Hikaru is used to. Jordan gets the white pieces. What's going to be his approach, Jay? Will Jordan try to play solid or are you expecting him to go for it with white? Well, he's very creative, so I think he's just going to play his game, right? I think it's best to play what you know best. Don't play anything crazy, don't play anything weird, right? You just play what you know. And of course, crazy and weird is actually how he plays. But, of course, just play what you know. Here we got a modern. Whoa, Danya, modern? Typical Hikaru. I mean, he's been playing this opening yeah. since the Civil War era. He <laughs> knows the ins and outs of the modern. And he plays this when he needs that win on demand with black. So this isn't tilt. This is standard Hikaru fare. And uh, even a lot of top Grandmasters, David, they don't exactly review the modern. That's not on the top list of openings that you're reviewing. So Hikaru, I mean, he wants to get Yorda out of fairy with Yorda. And as I like to say when I'm tilted, he knows everything. He sees everything. <laughs> You're right, Dania. Confession time. I've never studied this position. <laughs> <laughs> it's only moved four, but uh, Jordan's on his own. And, well, at least if he's not in his own, he will be uh, forced to answer some very difficult questions. It's up to him now how to develop. And no opening theory in this one. You guys have kind of highlighted that as one of Jordan's strengths before the game, before this match. And, uh, wow, provocative play by Nakamura, I've got to say. Pushing pawns on both sides of the board and uh, neglecting development slightly. That's four pawn moves out of the first five moves. But is that exactly what you expect from Hikaru when he needs to win to level the match? Really enough, this this uh, modern opening, the way that he's playing it too well, it, you you actually sometimes can get worse positions as white by making natural moves, like knight f3 or even playing f4, knight e2. Like, it, it, that's probably what I would go for, f4, maybe knight e2 there just to get some space in the center. But lots of times you can just find yourself being in a worse position after making natural moves against the modern, usually because of the pawn breaks and the flexibility and the options that it gives you. The Carl has a lot of options in this position. Wow, and another pawn move. Five out of six now for uh, <laughs> Karu Nakamura. Uh, I wonder how many more pawn moves he'll push before he decides.
continues to push for it now that Dog Squad Bishop is finding its activity. I think Yagaro's gonna win this game now. Oh. He's flat out better. I mean, he's dominating the night. Jordan with 10 seconds. Yagaro just doing Yagaro things. And F3, David, I can see your expression of disgust. <laughs> Jordan now is the one walking the tightrope. Probably still a draw objectively, even if he loses that one. But you just know Yagaro's gonna play that position for 700 moves. Yeah. <laughs> what else to say? It is going to be a long grind. Jordan also with under 10 seconds on the clock. I don't like where he's put his two white rooks. Okay, a pawn has dropped. He's begging for bishop versus knight trade now. Uh, I was going to say earlier that black bishop on f8. Even the worst bishop is sometimes as good as the best knight. And uh, here it's definitely a case of that black bishop having uh, sprung to life. And Jordan's just hopping around, hoping now that the pawns are coming. Soon that white king is going to come under an oh attack. Oh my god! And e4. Bring that bishop in. Oh. Actually, incredible play by Hikaru. Yeah, that was literal wizardry. I mean, that was a, at some point a completely winning position for Jordan. He started going a little bit wrong, overcooking it on the queen side there. But to win that end game, you had a three on three where Jordan was dominating and Hikaru putting the finishing touches on that game. But at this point, there's nothing to say it's over. Yeah. Simply those black pawns are gonna march forward. The white knights cannot hold things together much longer. Jordan's ready to get out of there. Just playing on out of inertia, but uh, wow, heartbreaking. This match is totally turned. If this game was a draw, it wouldn't have been the worst thing. Look at Icaro! No, this one hurts. This one definitely hurts. If I'm Jordan, that one definitely hurts. You have to, as even Icaro says, he has a quote like, hey, when it comes to losses, you gotta get over them very quickly. Short-term memory loss, because like this one is gonna stay. You knew you were winning.